And so now turning to the question I get asked a lot when I do different meeting interviews or from my own clients is what are the signs you look for that we get this all clear that the downturn we're in is over and that um, we can return, return to being bullish again on the market. And what I tell them is that we look for market thrusts. And what a thrust is, is this big explosion of buying activity. This all these, this, this really strong advance in prices. Uh, of individual equities. We see a lot of stocks hit, for example, 20-day highs. Here's a, looking at the percent of the S&P 500 that's at a 20-day high. And we have at least half of the market hit a 20-day high all at the same time. That's showing us that there's a lot of buying interest in the market. And you see here's a green line plot at each time that occurs. And it typically happens after we've had a major decline. Um, very rarely do we see half the market hit a new, a new essentially one month high in the same, at the same time when the bears or when sellers are in in a lot of control of the, of the exchange or of, of the price action. Looking again, well, turning back to that six month data. See, we're using the same, the same data just from different viewpoints. Again, looking at six month highs and six month lows. Here we're again looking at when we have 20%, less than 20% of stocks making six month um, net highs. And when we get back to 80%, tells us that we have a really strong stock market. And you can see this happened at the bottom after the dot-com period, at the bottom in 2009, 2016, at the, uh, the start of 2019, and then in uh, about April of 2020. These types of, of market improvements happen after bear markets occur. Um, a lot of people try to time and they wanna get the absolute low and you can try to find trying to catch the proverbial falling knife. Instead, if we look for market improvement, we don't necessarily care that there's 20% of the market that's making new lows. We want to see when the start the market's making improvements. When we have a net, uh, a lot of stocks that are making six-month highs, that tells us when the market potentially is at a, as has put in a final low, and buyers have resumed control. There's a lot of very popular, very commonly discussed breath thrusts. Probably the most well-known one was invented by Martin Zweig, and it's called the, the Zweig breath thrust. And it happens very rarely in the stock market. What Zweig was looking for was for the 10-day average of advanced declines to go from 0.4 to over 0.615 within a two-week time period. You can see going back to 2008, this hasn't happened very often. The last time this happened was actually just a few days after the market low in 2018, and actually hasn't happened since then to have that um, go from under 0.4 to over 0.6 within that short period of time is pretty difficult to do. But when it does happen, has been a pretty good signal that the market has reversed higher and that buyers are back in control of, of the price action. Another popular one was de developed by Ned Davis Research. And what they were looking for was 10 to one up days, meaning if you take the number of stocks that are advancing divided by the number of stocks declining. They want at least 10 advancers for every one decliner, and they want to see that happen two times without the reverse happening, meaning without having 10 decliners to every one advance. And when you had two, two days that are 10 to one within a, a two week time period, again, showed the market was pretty strong. This has happened just three times since 2008, it happened right after the, 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 the um, the 2018 decline after COVID crash. And this one actually has happened within our current market. Um, you can see the green line most recently on the far right side happened in July, where we had a really strong, um, about 15 to one. And then we had a really strong day of actually over 40 to one advancers to decliners as the market had put in its low, advanced for several weeks, and these really, really strong, um, strong updates, telling us that buyers potentially were back in control. And so something that I focus on is looking at a lot of different gauges of breath thrust. I track uh, about 11 or 12 different ways of measuring these, these different thrusts and I created a composite. And so from my research, I wanna see not just one or two of these thrusts occur, I wanna see three, ideally four of these thrusts occur. When we start seeing a lot of these, these really strong bullish days in the breath data, really gives us that confidence that the market is, has potentially put in a low. Again, nothing works perfectly, and breath thrusts aren't the end-all, be-all um, crystal ball to the market, but these are great signs to tell us when the market, there may be, have been a shift in the market from sellers to buyers. And you can see the green lines here is every time we've had, uh, I believe it's four breath thrusts 
um, from the, the, the collection of 11 or 12 that, that I track. And the, typically the market has had really strong performance after those periods of time. 